Well, part of what's also happening is um, an increase in, um, in cooperation and collaboration with juvenile court judges. They are really key to this issue because they actually do not like this issue. They don't want their courtrooms filled with kids who just, you know, got actually got suspended for something silly and now are winding up in the courtroom um, because they feel like they have more serious cases to deal with. And so there have been a number of judges, there's one in Birmingham, there's one in Georgia, who have actually worked to actually bring the school system together with the police, et cetera, and sit down and really work through a collaborative process to change the, the dynamic and the thinking around the issue. I mean, the other thing I just wanted to put out, especially for those of you um, from churches, um, two things, is that we need help in the schools. And we really need to put a workforce of volunteers in the schools to help. Secondly is, I would challenge you all to ask um, folks to take a day and spend an hour in juvenile court. Amen. People need to see the faces of our babies in those courtrooms because it is jolting. And it will make you an advocate on this issue in a heartbeat. When you see our babies in shackles, in orange jumpsuits, coming into courtroom, and it could be for something really silly. A minor action that's not drug related, that's not violence. And if we don't sit through those courtrooms and say, you know what, we're gonna change this, then no one else will. So I challenge you all to really get folks out to these courts just to observe for an hour, because it will wake you up.